All right, here it is, the X-Max, getting ready for repair. You see it's pretty beat up at the moment. Just about everything is off. Got some dirt to clean out of here. And here's all of my uh, spare parts. See if we can't remember where they all go. And get them cleaned up a little bit in the process. So we're gonna start in here, try and get that cleaned up. And we're just gonna basically wipe it away. Doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be out of there enough so that we can um, lay our motor flat. See our pins are still in place, thankfully, because they are very hard to move. So what we want to do is prep the motor Again, Trax has sent us for install, and we're just going to open the box up. So I'm going to get one handed here. The right tools. Okay, so we got this nice chunky motor. Come out. Just a bare motor. Of course, we need to put a heat sink on it. Looks like it's gonna sit like this. So our motor needs to be that way. So hang tight, we'll make it happen. All right, that's one mount down. All we did was line up with the holes and then put this one screw in. And for those of you that wanna see us mount up, pieces. Let me go ahead and do that for you real quick. Here's the uh, other mount. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. First we got to get these screws out of here. That's what holds it to the chassis. I'm just going to get the most of this out of there. Again, doesn't need to be perfect, but I want to clean enough not to mess with any clearances or tolerances or whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to slide this over just like that. Lines up in the holes. And there's these flat-headed screws that go in there. And they are a little bit challenging to get in, but Keep twisting. Well, the good thing about this motor is we can just set it back in. And it has those pins down there that it just sits on so we know going to sit where it needs to. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that this sits down properly and then we'll attach the spur gear. Okay, I think that's supposed to go in there. Get that fixed. But that's sitting nicely so we'll go ahead and get our spur gear on here. Here it is. Pretty dirty looking. We'll clean that up too. Here it is, a little more cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and slide this on to the new shaft. So right here. Just gonna slide that on. We're gonna go ahead and test fit it. See where that needs to sit and then we'll Put some Loctite on the grub screw. Okay, obviously, we are pretty close. There we go. Now it's secured. 
but we need to turn this around. I mean, look at that. There it is. So now we need to pull out that grub screw. And these guys. Okay. It's good to have magnetic, magnetic uh, tips for that. So you can hold your screws on. Go ahead and hold that there for a moment. And we're gonna get some Loctite. Here it is. I'm just gonna drop some right on there. Okay. And I'm gonna put you down while I put this up. Okay, now it's on the screw. Little focus, there it is. Just gonna bring it straight down. Make sure we're screwing onto the flat part of the shaft, which was positioned earlier. Give that a nice, ooh, hopefully we didn't just strip it. Yeah, got some debris on here. Otherwise, pretty tight. It should be good. Let that Loctite do its job. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put our four screws in and uh, that'll secure the motor. So the X-Max is flipped over and I had to use two hands to get the first screw in. Now I'm just tightening up the bolts. It's just these four in the bottom here. And uh, gonna take a little bit of twisting, but most of it's done already, so you didn't have to watch me twist all these things down. You don't want to twist it so you feel it really bite, and then maybe some more. But these are plastic mounts, so not too tight. So I'll finish this up and we'll flip her over. So now we got the motor in nice and tight. We got these spur gear and the pinion gear for of course looking dirty. So we're gonna hit it with some chain cleaner. That's all I have. Let's so make it work. Trying to wipe out as much as we can, otherwise. It is what it is. As long as there's not major chunks in there, that's what we're most worried about, getting caught between the gears. So that's that. We're gonna let this, uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we'll come back. All right, so we've got that cleaned up. Got my cover back on. See some grease there. I'm just using some regular old grease, nothing crazy. And now we need to tighten the cover down. I pull my glove over the thing on. Now we just need to pull, tighten this up. Hmm. Well, that was the wrong size, guys. So don't watch what you're doing through the screen. 